I also have a, a personal connection to our next speaker. Uh, uh, Kurt uh, worked at Walt Disney for 11 years, uh, beginning as a, a waiter and working his way up to director of special events. Uh, he moved to Universal Studios for three years, but soon uh, made the decision to relocate to Buffalo to be with family and for the, an easier life. Seriously, you wrote that? Oh my God. Uh, uh, when, he, uh, when he arrived, uh, he worked for Buffalo Prep at UB, and he joined the Roycroft Board of Directors. Uh, after only one year, uh, he was hired and is currently the Executive Director of the Roycroft Campus Corporation. Uh, as Kurt wrote here, the rest is history. Uh, that was four years ago, and uh, yes, he does show no sign of slowing down. Uh, everybody, Kurt Marenta, uh, and I believe he's going to engulf us in uh, some more historic dreams. Uh, I did see two people playing with your SUV. <laughs> So uh, when I was asked to uh, first do this, this is my big title page. This will throw you way off, so you'll have no idea where we're going with this. Um, but I was asked, you know, I come do this thing. I want you to talk about building stories. I'm like, what the hell am I going to talk about? Building what? Building the Roycroft? Building? The one thing I can talk about is building a family. Um, when, uh, when we first started out, uh, I, again, was working at the Walt Disney Company, met my partner there and worked diligently, loved working at the Disney company. Did everything you could possibly imagine from events for two people to about 10,000 people, working with dignitaries, working with all of the Disney officials, and all was well. We had a beautiful house in Pasadena. My partner and I thought, you know what? Let's adopt. And we'll just, we'll adopt a single child, and it can't be that hard. And it was probably the most difficult thing you ever could ever possibly imagine. Everything from fingerprints, letters that you had to get from friends. Um, it, was, it was horrific, but we did. We ended up getting a baby boy. And we thought, well, you know, this is good. I'll change my job. I'll go over to Universal Studios. I'll do the same thing. I'll throw parties. We'll have the baby. Everything will be fine. Except for the fact that I was doing movie premieres and away for about two weeks, and Mark was traveling the country. So we thought, well, we got a baby boy. We need a simpler life. So we decided literally one night that we would sell our house in Pasadena. I flew to Buffalo and I bought one of the Sattler homes on Bidwell Parkway, where uh, I uh, uh, started to do the big restoration uh, projects. We moved in August of 2006. I disconnected all of the radiators in early October and was told, don't worry about it, everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> and it snowed and snowed and snowed. And uh, all the roof, all the uh, snow that accumulated on the roof of the uh, home uh, fell and crushed Mark's car. So I called him in California and said, well, you get a new car now, so don't worry about it. Uh, when Mark finally came to Buffalo, he said, you know, why don't we adopt one more child, and that way we have two. And I said, okay, well, that's fine, you know, where do you find another kid? And he goes, on the internet. <laughs> so he found uh, Clayton, then he found Kiara, because they were sibling sets. So we thought, you know, well, we'll go down to Ohio and we'll, we'll visit the kids because, you know, how bad could this possibly be, you know, visiting two? except for the fact that there was actually three. Um, so they were a sibling set of three, and he looked at me and he said, you know, how can you not love a child like this? And I said, no, that's all gonna be fine, Mark. Well, this will be great. We'll go visit them. Now, uh, Michelangelo here, he was four years old. We were sitting in the hotel restaurant, uh, having our first dinner with him. He stood up on the table, spit in my drink, screamed out loud, and ran across the restaurant. You would have thought at that point we would leave, but we didn't. We adopted the children and brought them back to, uh, brought them back to Buffalo. We moved to East Aurora, where I took a job at the Roycroft campus, again thinking, well, you know, my job will be close to where our house is. We just moved out to East Aurora. This will be an easy life. Four kids, new job, not as easy. Then Elliot comes along, and Elliot was a whim. Elliot was, you know what, we got a big, huge house. Why don't we just open it up for a little foster care, and, you know, overnights? Well, Elliot's overnight went from one night to one week to one month to two years. So Elliot ended up staying with the family. 
Okay, well now we'll settle into an easy life. We'll build this great home. Except Mark had this great idea that he was gonna go to Arizona. And he said, you know, I'm gonna get this great job in Arizona. We'll move everybody out to Arizona and we'll live the easy, calm life. Well, Mark left me with five children. I was working by myself at the Roy Croft. Uh, yeah. Each kid demanding their own personal time, you know, homework, lunches. I actually got to the point where I figured out how much bread I was using a year and how many, how much peanut butter, how much jelly. That's how chaotic it, it had all become. So, so much for the easy life. Except when I got to work, which truly was my salvation at the Roycroft. I really poured myself into the Roycroft. We just bought the historic uh, print shop which meant there was plenty of projects to keep me busy. And I stayed extremely busy. Uh, now, and there you can see how busy we became. Um, around every turn as we were working on the campus, we were finding things that were hidden underneath floors, live wires in walls, um, you name it, we found it as we uh, were working on all of the restoration projects. During all of this, Mark decided to come home from East Aurora, and when he came home from East Aurora, he said, you know, why don't we, uh, you know, adopt another child? And I said, flat out, no, this is not going to happen. Except we did get a phone call that our youngest at the time, Elliot, had a sibling that was just born. And this is Emily, and Emily was born in uh, June of this year, and she is now home with us. So now we have six children. And we continue our work at the Roycroft. And the Roycroft has recently just opened up our brand new museum on the campus. We've refurbished the visitor center on the campus. The Neil and Barbara Court Gallery has opened on the campus. The copper shop has been renewed on the campus. New tours, the press room, um, the print shop. If you have not been out to the Roycroft, things have changed uh, dramatically on the campus. Um, I, do, I do have to say, we did move to Buffalo for the simpler life. We built an incredible family that I love, even though they are crazy at times, and I do love my job, so thank you. Mm -hmm.